welcome guys in this video you will learn how you can uh, automate and create the amortization table uh, directly in excel without changing any formula uh, you will simply gonna input uh, the criteria and all the tables gonna populate itself you just change your term and it's gonna create itself so all you gonna learn in this video so if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe now and hit the bell icon so you keep getting updates of all my upcoming new videos let's get started okay so let's start the development uh, in order to prepare the amortization table i will require some input okay so i will de gonna define those inputs here first of all i would need uh, the original principle let's assume in my case i am taking 500000 as my original principle which i want to acquire from the bank uh, in order to make it currency you can go on home tab and click on currency here right so it has become currency then i need to define okay for how many years i want to get this loan for example i want to get this loan for 30 years which i will pay back within 30 years of period right so i define 30 years this is my loan term how much annual interest rate i'm gonna pay so the annual interest rate which i agree with my bank is 13 percent it can it can be any interest rate okay frequency basically it's a frequency in a year right so this agreement can be monthly this agreement can be semi-annual or this agreement can be annual okay so let's make a drop down here you can make that drop down by going on data sheet uh, then you click on the data validation here you will select the list and here you will simply type monthly semi annual comma and annual press ok enter now you are able to choose the monthly semi annual and the annual right okay uh, in a separate sheet I can call it a support sheet so I can call it monthly sorry monthly semi-annual and annual there are 12 periods in monthly there are two periods in semi-annual and if you are paying annually then you have to pay only one time in a year right so i'm simply gonna hear number of periods in a year so put a simply we look up formula which here you're gonna select the frequency in a year which is annual plus comma table array the table array is this one right you need to freeze that by pressing f4 then you press comma it is asking okay the column index number which is 2 press comma and then 0 bracket close and enter okay so the number of period in a year is 1 so if your frequency is semi-annual it's gonna be 2 because you're gonna pay twice in a year and if it's a monthly you're gonna pay 12 time in a year right so that's how your settlement with the bank is so let's assume that my settlement with the bank is semi-annual, right? So how many payments I need to pay means in throughout the 30 years of period, how many times I'm going to go back to the bank and paying them the installment. So the number of total installment are basically the 30 into the number of periods in a year. So there are 60 installment in 30 years. So if I am paying a monthly, there are 360 installment every month i have to pay and if i am paying annually there are only 30 installments for 30 years right so what is your periodic payment i can also call it what is your installment payment installment payment right so we can say okay so for in order to calculate the installment we will be using the formula which is pmt payment right pmt if you read that what it say calculate the payment for a loan based on the constant payment and the constant interest rate right so you will open the bracket now it's asking for a rate okay what is your rate so my annual interest rate is this right freeze that and if i am paying twice in a month let's say it's a semi annually or if i am paying a 12 time in a month in a year then it's going to be 12 so i will divide this interest rate by my number of periods in, or you can call the number of installment in a year right 
and you freeze that also by pressing comma now you have to input the number of period there are total number of periods are 30 you will freeze that okay what is your present value so this is your present value okay you will always type your present value with a minus sign right and then you will close the bracket and enter okay so you have to pay 66,705 USD dollar every year to pay back your 500,000 in 30 years so if I change the frequency to semi-annually then your installment is 33,000 for six months and if you are paying monthly then your installment is $5,000 for every month right so now you just calculated your periodic payments after calculating your periodic payments, uh, I need to input uh, the zero in your schedule. Zero means today. So today you have to pay no payments and you will just get the payment, which is the 500,000. So your balance today is 500,000 and the next period or the next year or the next month or then after six months, whichever uh, your frequency is, you are going to make a payment. Right. So let's say uh, on the first period, it can be after six months, it can be annual, it can be monthly. Right. So in your next period, you are going to make a payment. So how much money you are going to pay? You're going to pay this installment. Right. So you can simply freeze that. Okay. Let's make it a simple currency. Zero decimal. Okay, so this is the money you are going to pay for your next period. Then in this period, there are two factors which are included. One is interest and other is principal. So I need to break down, okay, how much interest I am going to pay and how much principal I am going to settle in this total period in this total payment so in order to calculate my interest for the first period i will use ipmt ipmt formula returns the interest payment for a given period so my rate is what my rate is this divided by the number of period in a year which is this right okay what is my period so my current period is this I will simply freeze the p8 and what is how many number of periods are there so they are 12 360 years okay how much loan did I taken I have taken this loan right and I will close the bracket and enter okay so out of this money this money gonna be my interest payment for the principal you can simply take the difference right as simple as that but if you don't want to use this uh, simple calculation there is a formula as well which I want you to learn as well which is PPMT the PPMT returns the payment on the principal on a given period so whatever payment you are making what part of this payment is a principal in order to calculate that you will use the formula PPMT, you will open the bracket and here you will put your interest rate which is 13% which I freeze that divided by the number of period I will freeze that as so okay comma which period is that this is the first period I will uh, freeze the column B okay number of periods here are 360 number of periods and what is the present value so I have taken with with the minus sign 500,000 and freeze that and close the bracket so you can see this is the same number which I calculated by taking the difference of these two numbers which was 140 right let me freeze that as well okay good so if I sum these two numbers this and this you can see that both of these numbers are same right so your payment are basically your interest and principal so this was your previous balance right and you just settle the principal of 140 
so your balance is 499,000 right rest were went into the payments into the interest so you can simply make it a currency with a zero decimal and make it a right side okay so after completing this uh, we will further enhance this formula so in order to avoid the errors when our periods are complete so i will simply say that if this operation basically the this double plus one if i will take into the parenthesis and say if this is less than equal to my total number of periods then it's fine we can do this operation this plus one right otherwise make it blank right and enter and one more if i can say that if the above one is blank then make it blank otherwise use this if function plus over so you can see i can keep putting it down and it's keep going but if i change it to the my annual and you can see there are 30 periods so if i go further down so it is not going beyond 30 right so if i change it to the 10 periods it's not going beyond 10 right so it's very clear and efficient uh, in order to improve this one basically i will say that if this is not equals to blank then simply use this formula otherwise blank right this one again i will do the same thing if this is not equals to blank then do this operation otherwise make it blank similarly this one if this is not equals to blank then do this operation otherwise make it blank and here as well if this is not equals to blank then do this operation otherwise make it blank so i can just copy it and put it down and you can see my amortization table has become zero so i can simply copy it and put it into an enough number my formulas so i just go to the enough rows and i just paste it okay and now you can see that this is completely automated i change it to the 30 the table has increased and make it zero right if i change it to the five years see uh, reviews without showing any error even though the formulas are there but it is not showing any error because we control it through the if formulas right so if i make it to the five period semi-annual then the total payments are 10 and as you can see this has become zero so you have to pay every year this sum of money uh, to settle your uh, settle your uh, balance in five years by making payment in every six months right and if you're meeting in a monthly then your period of course gonna be larger 60 periods right so i hope that you will like it if you like it please subscribe it and let me know in comments if you have any question thank you so much have a nice day